This is Mr. Positive Live, your home for positive talk. We are live here on July 22nd, 2022. Today we are looking at POF.com, which is considered plenty of fish. Com. We've done plenty of videos talking about scams. What you can do is subscribe to our YouTube page at Mr. Positive Live on YouTube and on Facebook at Mr. Positive Live. Check out our podcast on Amazon Music, Spotify, and Anchor.fm, also on Google Podcast as well. Uh, thank you for those who download the podcast and have been listening to them. They're doing fairly well. Uh, so keep up the great work. Today we're doing a review of PlentyOfFish.com, again, which is a dating site, a free dating site. I'm going to give you a little tour of my profile here. This is my POF account, okay? Um, again, you can see here that POF is kind of set up like a Facebook or MySpace. Uh, it's a dating app. And here is where you put in your information. You got edit profile, you know, you got all kinds of different things you can do. Just go back again. Uh, you know, people have a pretty cool way to interact with people. Um, you know, you can go in here, change passwords, update information, ways to upload your photos. You have about the person right here. Uh, my name is Genesis280 on there. Uh, you know, I don't post a whole lot. Uh, you know, put in I'm single. Graduated, you know, graduated high school. Uh, you know, this just kind of tells you a little bit about me. You know, I'm a free thinker. You know, and kind of gives you an idea uh, of what POF's about. Okay. So, you know, this is a great way to interact with people on the dating app. Let's go to search and I'll show you how that works. So once you create a POF account, you're going to see, you know, different people in the search engine. You can put in your based here on, uh, let me zoom in on this. So this is where you would put in your information. So if you were looking for a, say you're a male, looking for a female or a female looking for a male, you put in the age, I'm looking for someone 26 to 49 years old, uh, you know, any interest, you would go here. Um, you know, let me just go back over here. So, you know, you have your different settings. If I'm looking for casual dating, no commitment, I want a date, but nothing serious. Uh, you have all your different settings here if you want to search. That's what's cool about POF. It gives you these different type of, uh, you know, settings. You can search based on location. Let me get out of this. You can also search based on photo. Uh, you know, you can basically search based on photos, all members, people that have photos, people that have no photos. I don't know why you'd want to search anybody with no photos. Um, as you go down through... You know, let me zoom out of this so we can get a better idea. Uh, you know, you, you scroll down through, you would see that there are different, uh, you have locations. So if you wanted to change the location based on your area. So say I have uh, United States, I have Maine, the state, I have South Portland as the area, uh, 042, uh, 04061 is where I would search. If I wanted to put in Lewiston, I could easily put in 04240. Uh, you can search within miles of your city. So say I wanted to go, you know, within 10 miles. I don't know how good the search will do. Change this to Lewiston, basically. And uh, just hit go fish. And then it gives you an, a rough idea of people that are on the app, people that are on the site. It actually is a good way to, you know, interact with people. So say I wanted to message this girl here, uh, you know, just giving you an idea. She might be set, but uh, let's see if I can even message her. Uh, yeah, so I just said a hey to her. What's up? You know, if you ever thought about using a dating app, that's what you would do. Okay. So you also want to read their profiles a little bit. So... Um, you know, let's click on someone that, you know, maybe fairly nearby here. Uh, you know, these are pretty much local people. Uh, this girl is ACO20783, 38 years old. Uh, again, she's single and she's looking, she, I am putting an effort, uh, find someone seeking a man long term. So she's from Auburn, less people with gold drive, 
ambitions. Do not message me if you stick with your ex still married or looking to looking for pen pals, pick swaps. So uh, yeah, you always want to read the descriptions of people. That is really important. I'm just using this as an example. Okay. I always want to look at their interests because before you message somebody, you don't want to just message them and not know much about them. Let's go down here. Um, I'm going to also show you some accounts that may be considered fake accounts. Uh, this one doesn't look to be too bad. Let me message her just to see if she actually messages back. Hit send. And uh, that will go to her. Now, I'm going to tell you some accounts that may be considered fake if you were to use this same account you know, application, profile, or same, uh, you know, POF account. You want to look out for fake, phony accounts that may be a little too good to be true. Most of these are fairly, you know, real accounts, but sometimes they're hard to tell. And, you know, I want to kind of give people an idea on the ones that we've been doing videos about that are scammers. And, you know, I don't want to judge people based on, you know, character or religion, but... Sometimes you're going to look out for some of these accounts. So we're looking down through here. Uh, most of these are real accounts. I've actually messaged a few of them. I actually know a few of them. Uh, I went to school with a couple of them. Nice people. I'm trying to find one that may be considered fake. Here's one right here. This is a good example of a fake account, potentially. Um, she has one photo. Bad of a mama of four gifted back. So this is here, right here considered a fake account or someone trying to sell maybe themselves, whatever this could be. Um, not completely sure. Uh, again, could be a real account, but usually if they have one account, they're usually not real. You know, usually when it's one account, they're not real. But hell, for the heck of it, just to kind of go after scammers and to teach them a lesson, we'll message them anyway. Uh, you know, sometimes you won't be able to message them because they could be upgraded members. I want girls to see how it is from the male side. If you're someone out there who uses POF, you know how it is. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to see if I can find. Here's one of the accounts that I consider to be fake. Um, they may have, like, these photos here. This is one that we've been talking to. Um, you know, this is what some of the... Uh, these are some of the investment scammers that you find. Now, this looks really legitimate. They got different photos. They look like they travel to like very like exotic locations. And here you can see, she says she's in Maine, but you can tell in the background it's like Florida or someplace in Spain or something. Uh, you know, this just isn't, you're not going to find these typical women in Maine. Not saying it's not possible. This is, chances are this is fake. Um, you know, she likes clothing trade, a clothing trade. So that's one thing you want to look out for. They make these accounts out to be very realistic. Uh, they don't seem fake. Uh, so I'll read off this right here. Conversation starters. My most wanted uh, destination is heart-shaped uh, reef islands in Australia. Looking from high above uh, coral reefs. Looks like a heart. Many couples are making the promise. Um, this here is a perfect example of a scammer. That is, uh, someone's using some girl's photos, uh, you know, from maybe over in uh, China. or um, You know, and I feel bad for this poor girl because someone's using her, you know, photos to scam people. And uh, I don't want to say this is a scam, but uh, usually this is what some of these financial scammers look like. Uh, we're going to move on to a couple more here before we get into our actual conversation. Um, and I don't want people to take this the wrong way. Not all accounts are necessarily fake. Uh, a, a lot of these are real. A lot of these girls I've messaged myself. So, yeah, a lot of these are t potentially, f you know, real accounts. But there are going to be a few. So we'll go searching the, um, I'm going to try searching uh, maybe Boston, the Boston metro area kind of give you an idea because sometimes in Boston uh, you know you know that can be a uh, area of interest let me see here if I can search location 
So if you're ever looking to use a dating app or dating, uh, you know, dating, um, a dating, let's say you're single and you're looking to use POF, I want I want people to know how to navigate this area. So we're gonna go Portland. What about Portland? O four two one O I believe. We'll do we'll do ten miles of Portland. Go fishing here. See what happens. See what comes up. Um, let's see here. I just want to see if there's any of these other fake accounts in here. Because I want people to be aware of some of these. Some of these are real and some of these are fake. So just be aware of the ones you click on. Uh, still getting a lot of people from the Lewiston and Auburn area. Let's see if I can uh, widen the search. Let's go try 100 miles of Portland. Because here in Maine, you're not going to get too many people. You know, I mean, people use dating apps, but kind of like Tinder, it's very uh, limited on... Um, so here's one of the fake accounts you'll find. A lot of times, Nigerians and other scammer accounts will make fake accounts. Sometimes people are selling themselves on here as well. So as you can see here, 1-8, you know, BJ, visit this certain app. I know it sounds funny, but these are accounts that are bogus. These are accounts that are fake. And these are accounts that are looking to steal money. Uh, you know, I know it sounds gross, uh, but these are potentially, you know, maybe real people or their pictures are being stolen from other accounts, maybe on Facebook or something along that side. Now, on average, POF is not a bad site. Um, you know, they do have some membership. Um, you can sign up for, you know, like a POF Plus account or whatever it is. Um, you know, some of these people are real. You know, let's take a look at this account here. Like this one's real here. You know, uh, if they have one photo, the chances are they're probably a fake account. Um, you know, so these look pretty legit. Uh, you know, so we'll leave it at that. I just wanted to show off a few accounts that may be potentially fake and to help people not, you know, fall for a fake account. Uh, I would never message anyone with no photo. Um, you know, a lot of these could be bot profiles as well. Uh, let's see here. See if we can find one more that may be a fake account. But again, these are pretty legit here. Um, let's see here. See if we can spot another one. But there are ways to, you know, spot these fake accounts on POF.com. And it's, you know... This is a legit way to meet people, don't get me wrong, but you also don't want to fall for scammers uh, posing as some of these can be real, and some of these could be fake as well. So you just want to be careful on uh, what you're searching for. On, uh, I want to look Boston up for some reason, but see if I can do that real quick. So we'll do Boston, change it to Massachusetts, within... I'm going to say 200 miles, maybe. And uh, I just take out the zip code. I don't really need that. See what happens now. So now we're getting people from Boston. This is where you might likely run into some scammers because there's more people in Massachusetts. And you're more likely to run into a scammer or two. Uh, let's see here. Um, that one looks pretty legit. I won't bother with that one. Just trying to see if we can come across a woman that maybe looks too good to be true. Oh, here's one right here. Perfect. Um, here's another one of those. Uh, you know, they say there, uh, this is one of those scammers here. This is one of those investment scams. Uh, one of these investment scammers using a beautiful woman to try to lure men in. This girl says she's from Hartford Trading Company. Look for, the, look for this when you are searching for yourself. Look for trading company. This is one exact area you'll look for. Uh, that's usually a sign it's a scammer. Uh, you know, they'll try to get you started in a normal conversation, try to get to know you. And then what they usually do, and a lot of times they'll even say they do yoga, prove one's health, swim, ski, travel. Uh, this is pretty common. Uh, this is one of those investment scammers. Um, and they're using these photos. Some of these girls could be real and actually are, you know, trying to, uh, you know, you know, try to lure people in to scam people. So they could be legit people, but they're, 
you know, kind of carn artist type girls that maybe don't even know they're getting scammed. Maybe they don't realize they're actually scamming people. But this is what you want to look for. These kind of photos here. Uh, you know, this girl does look beautiful, and don't get me wrong. Uh, I feel bad if her photos are being used by somebody who may be out there doing this investment scam. This is usually what it looks like. Move on to a couple more. Uh, see if we can spot another one. We did spot that one. There's going to be a few in multiple multiple cities. Uh, this one here looks like to be a, another scammer photo. Uh, they're using the same kind of numbers. One photo, perfect example. They said at 43 years old. I highly doubt that's a real person. Management, perfect example. Farmington, Maine. Okay, this is a scammer. Okay, it's one of those investment scammers. Uh, again, outgoing. You may not be able to tell. A lot of people who use these accounts may not be able to tell these fake accounts. Now, the ones down below here are most likely are real. Um, and I don't want to tell you they are, but if they get the different numbers and interesting weird numbers, because the chances are that's a fake account. I'm gonna move on down a little bit more. Uh, let's see if we can spot one more scammer. I want people to be aware. Uh, let's see here. This could be. This one looks probably real. Yeah, that looks pretty real. Uh, heck, we'll even message or two. Uh, you know, just to kind of get an, a, a conversation started. I wanted to start doing conversations with some of these scammers. Uh, you know, to uh, see if it was possible to start a conversation with one of these scammers. Uh, you know, one of these. Uh, Type of people because I want to see I want people to see how the conversations tend to go down. But you know we'll leave it at that. That's POF in a nutshell. Uh, we're gonna go over now how to spot and avoid online dating scams. Eight red flags. Do you date online? Here are several tips and red flags to help you spot and avoid scammers on online dating sites. So this comes from uh, MakeUseOf.com. Okay. Online dating scams continue to be on a rise and uh, costing unsuspected victims millions of dollars each year. Rather than simply sending phishing emails and cyber criminals are playing the long game to cheat people out of their money. Uh, if you are using an online dating platform, make sure to look out for these signs that person you're talking to is actually a scam, not a scammer. Keep reading to learn more how to avoid online dating scams. We've done plenty of videos on this, but I actually wanted to get into uh, you know a real down, in-depth view of how this works. Okay, scammers target people across different demographics on every dating platform possible as possible. This means that regardless of gender, sex, orientation, or age, or per, per, you know preferred platform. No one is off bounds to a scam. Okay, so however, they tend to target older people more often. Meanwhile, the biggest target for long-term catfishing scams are people who are vulnerable and isolated. People that are alone or loners. P uh, plenty of fish POF scams are particularly uh, prevalent due to the large nature of the network. POF is one of the largest oldest dating apps out there and dating websites. However, scammers exist on sites like Ashley Madison, Match.com, and other major dating sites, even Tinder. Uh, Netflix, 22, uh, Netflix 2022 documentary, the, the, the Tinder Swindler, also highlighted this tactic, a particularly pri uh, provincial scammer who used Tinder to lure his victims. With the rise of dating apps, scammers cast an even wider net for potential targets uh, and automate each of the processors using bots to lure victims in, okay? Trying to steal your credit card information and other major problems. If you suspect that you're encountered an online dating scammer, here is a list of major red flags to look out for. And, you know, it's not just happening anywhere. It's happening in a lot of places. Let me just close this ad out. You know, and this is happening a lot. People don't realize that the scams continue to happen. So profile warnings, okay? 
So like we were showing you here on the POF app itself, POF is a pretty easy, you know, easy application or pretty easy website to, um, you know, use. It's very easy. Number one, profile warning. There are a number of signs of fake online dating profiles, okay, that could help you identify the scammer before you even connect on the app. Like I was showing you, uh, they'll use beautiful woman, though I showed you where to look for because right now in 2022, the big thing is they're using the, um, it's basically a uh, Bitcoin scam or using a, um, you know, a, a cryptocurrency scam. You want to look out for this. They're pretending to be, uh, you know, you know, they're pretending to meet people, but then they're trying to steal money from you at the same time. A few typical traits to look for. Their profile have very few images or images that seem a model or glamorous stock photos. So like, they're even to the point now where they're taking lots of photos, but they're Asian woman or Chinese woman, and they're beautiful. And a lot of these girls don't even know that their photos are being used. Some of them could be real women, but they're being used to con other men in the Western countries and the continents. Despite looking for singles in your country, many scammers claim to be in the military, uh, deployed to another country. Uh, online dating app scammers and bots will have very limited profile information. They also tend to only have one to two photos. Well, the photos, the, the profiles I showed you today are a bit newer than what this account's giving out. They can have four or five photos and guys are going to fall for it. Okay. I told people the clue to look for is if they travel a lot, if they're in very tropical countries uh, and very, and it seems like they're, they're traveling a lot and stuff uh, if their spelling grammar is bad a lot of these are Nigerian scammers or people in India you know scamming people stealing photos and then using them or a lot of times they're buying out the profiles and using them okay so a lot of these ladies don't even know their photos are being reused okay online dating scammers use bots again number two they try to take the conversation elsewhere so they try to take the they try to take the victim off of POF and move them into another site. Uh, online dating scammers, especially those that catfish their victims, will quickly ask you to move to another area, like Snapchat or WhatsApp app. This is not. Uh, this is not only. This not. This not only helps them. female and a male messages you out of the blue and says hey let's take this conversation over to whatsapp a lot of people use whatsapp or snapchat and they ask okay let's go over to there if they're asking for your phone number immediately there's a good chance that's a red flag okay often scammers will want to communicate like i said via messages social media apps never give out your facebook never give out instagram accounts um, you know, that's where they want your stuff. So, however, they may also choose to message you via SMS uh, or app like uh, WhatsApp, like I said before, a future that is disappearing messages on WhatsApp. So, can be used to make sure that you're not permitted to copy or even photocopy the conversation. That's why I say screenshot everything you do. Be, be aware of anyone. Let me go up and let's do that. Let me just get out of this so uh, again this not only helps them to get your information but they're just trying to get you. be aware of anyone that hasn't you haven't met that wants to move conversations to another platform I'll read that again be aware of anyone you haven't met that wants to move the conversation to another platform be aware of that three your match prefer feels love early on so if they are profession their love early on nobody's ever nobody you talk to on online dating apps a normal person 
is going to be just like, oh, I love you and I've never met you. They're not going to think that way. A common person is not going to, um, you know, use that kind of conversation. That's not going to be someone who is uh, going to do that at first. If you've used the online dating apps for a long time, if you use POF or Meet Me, you know how it goes. People's accounts get hacked all the time, okay? Um, online dating scammers tend to move very quickly. And in terms of professionally, they're professionals at this. Uh, they'll hurt your emotions. They try to build a connection with you. In short period, they may say they love you uh, and that they feel a very deep connection to you. Okay, and this is true. This is true. I've had it happen to me. I'm going to start screenshotting a lot of these conversations or our next few episodes of Mr. Positive Live. This is also part of the emotional uh, investment to try to involve you in the day. People who are so vulnerable and isolated are such, you know, targets. Since they're yawning for a connection, you should look out of any of these matches that are overly flirtatious or they're trying to get to know you really, really quick. Moving the relationship very quickly was also one of the red flags. Okay, in that movie on Netflix. Okay, Swindler Tinder, check it out today. Number four, they avoid meetups. For a couple of weeks now, and you want you want to get to know the person. Yeah, that's usually typical. You're on a dating app, and you want to, you want to talk to somebody. So a common line among online dating scammers or catfish is that they want to meet you, but when they when it comes time to do so. There's always an unexpected issue. Maybe the car's not working. Maybe they are overseas. Since the scammer is not a person they claim to be, they want to meet in person later on. But if they continue to show that same trait, they are a scammer most likely. Okay. So, okay. This is also the reason why so many scammers claim to work in another country or are beyond military deployment. Uh, a lot of the times they'll ask you to use Google Hangouts, uh, WhatsApp, Snapchat. It provides them the excuse for not being able to meet up. The fact many scammers use photos of military personnel and soldiers so soldiers on their profiles. Uh, in, in an ability to meet, or in a, the inability to meet, you may even be the support, re you may be the, spo supposed, the supposed reason they first try to, you know, get money off you. Uh, these scammers, these con artists, are looking to swindle you out of money. Um, one person that I actually talked to on uh, YouTube during my comments section um, was a 52-year-old um, woman from California who actually fell for a uh, scammer for over a year and ended up sending over $50,000 to a scammer in Nigeria. Okay, so you got to understand that people are getting scammed. This is a real issue, even in 2022. Number five, they avoid video chat completely. Scammers might avoid phone calls or vi voice and voice chats. However, many can fake their accents or put on a specific voice. However, a catfish will not appear in video chat since they are fake, they're fake profiles, using fake images excuses about their camera being broke especially one of them i was talking to was using a iphone in one of her photos they had an iphone 11 and i said well in your photo you you have an iphone 11 because all oh, my phone's broke i said there's no way your camera broke but whatever they're a scammer you know all smartphones nowadays have built-in selfie cameras which make video chatting very relevant easy that's what i like about meet me as you can actually video chat with real people some people may initially hesitate to appear on video chat uh, and out of shyness, but it's a red flag if someone profuse the love yet won't let you talk to them over video after weeks of communication. Okay. Number six, they request money from you. That's usually a big red flag. Catfishes or scammers will request money from you as this is an ultimate goal of most scammers. They are a ver ver there are a variety of scenarios that they may you know invent from family emergencies to health issues to travel problems. 
It may tell you they're in a car accident. I've had that happen to me before. Pretend to be someone you know you know. Um, particularly, the scammers may even trick you into sending them money. Uh, you know, by proposal to you or sending you a package that requires custom fees. Uh, scammers don't necessarily work alone. So they receive a phone call and documents from someone posing to be third party to request fees. Some scammers even request financial help or financial investment related to a function, functional business. If any kind of financial request comes along, it's probably a scam. Crypto and Bitcoin dating scams is another popular type, like I was telling you. It's becoming very, very, um, very targeted now in 2022 where they're taking real photos of females and using them. Number seven, they ask for your help in financial transactions. Um, again, uh, another online dating scam that doesn't... Uh, that. Again, another online dating scam that doesn't request money from victims, but turns them into money meals. Rather than trying to get money from the victim, these scammers make you an uh, accomplice in the money laundering, okay, which is illegal. Uh, one example includes the scammers sending money to a victim who then sends them an Amazon card. So if anyone's asking for gift cards, it's a scam. Or another kind of gift card, like Steam gift cards, or Target gift cards, or Apple Music gift cards. Uh, other times, they might send you money and ask you to send another account for them. Uh, sometimes, scammers may ask a victim to open a bank account for them. If your online scenario asks uh, you to get involved in these type of financial transactions and exchanges, it's likely they're a scammer trying to lure you into uh, legal activities. Number eight, they send you a link to another service or website. Some scammers don't bother with catfishing rather than using more effective, uh, ineffective ways of exploiting your victims or their victims. This is uh, especially true on online dating apps uh, where bot profiles are, you see a lot of them. Uh, if a match sends you a link to an app, game service, or a website, they say they want you to try out. This is often a ploy to get you to supply financial information about yourself or download malware to a phone or a computer. Initially, the online dating version of phishing this is what they call it, and is a very popular tactic for scammers and dating apps like Tinder. Okay, uh, how to outsmart a romance scammer? That's now the question. Okay. Besides spotting potential scammers, there are a few precautions you can take to avoid an online dating scam. Firstly, use reverse image searches, like Tiny Eye. The service like the reverse lookup uh, tool on social catfish is a uh, verified a person's online identity. Uh, you could check that same image isn't appearing across a variety of different profiles under different names. Certain dating apps allow you to choose to match only with verified profiles. For example, Tinder offers background checks, Future, a feature that's on Tinder. Uh, you should also keep up to date on different types of dating scams emerging, especially because they're changing all the time. Uh, those related to platforms you're using, uh, not all dating scammers are necessarily, you know, scammers. So you just want to be careful in how to identify some of these scammers. Furthermore, never send in intimate images of yourself to online dating scammers. Uh, are using now to blackmail you and to extort money out of you and they'll send you warnings and, and threaten you and try to threaten you with the person's identity. You be very careful with stuff like that. Uh, when we talk about this stuff, this is to protect people. Protect yourself from while dating online. Okay, We want people to use dating apps, but we also want people to understand that there are scammers. These are dangerous people. These are con artists. Um, you know, one of the most important measures to be mindful of when dating online is protect your privacy. This is not only helps to avoid scammers, 
but can also protect you from creeps and cyber stalkers. Ensure you don't share too much and don't be afraid to go with your gut if it seems something is too good to be true. Okay. For Mr. Positive Live, I'm Mr. Positive. Do not fall for any of these scammers. And let's see if someone wrote back to me real quick before we go. See if we get one of these scammers to fish in. As we were looking at their accounts. Uh, sometimes it takes a minute to load. Give it a second. So, nope. Nobody messaged, but hey, uh, check out this Mr. Pause Vibe episode. Subscribe to our YouTube page today.